Hi, I'm John Hart and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. So today we're revisiting an old subject matter of mine. Uh, I shot a video a few years back on how to pick up and put down heavy dumbbells safely and it's somewhere buried way back there on YouTube. And so I've had a few of you guys shoot me some videos, you know, uh, and ask me about form and things like that. And the number one thing that I keep seeing over and over again, and I made a mental note, is how badly and dangerously you're picking up and putting down those dumbbells when you do flat dumbbell benches, incline dumbbell benches. So I've set up here today two benches, one right next to each other, with uh, you know relatively heavy dumbbells uh, on the ground in front of them. So I'm going to take you straight through and show you step by step again how I pick and pick up and put down these dumbbells safely. So sometimes when you're using a heavy weight, uh, it, it might not look too pretty, but the safest way of doing it other than having two partners hand them to you in the bottom position or the top position. Other than that, the next safest thing to do is this right here. So you're going to find, it doesn't matter who you are, that eventually if you keep doing those presses on a regular basis, you're going to find that eventually the day will come where those weights that you're using are going to be pretty uh, serious. <laughs> and you better know what you're doing. So you'll notice, here we go with the dumbbell bench press. I'm going to walk you through it first and you'll notice I have the dumbbells down between my feet, not on the outside of my feet. And here's the reason why. First thing is when I go to pick up the first dumbbell, I'm going to be in a half squat position, one elbow on one knee. I'm going to pull this dumbbell up to my knee, not my thigh, just above my knee. And then supported, I can sit here all day like this, supported, I'm going to dumbbell roll the other one right up to this knee. Boom, I sit down with both of them. At that point, I'm ready to roll back with them simultaneously. Those of you who are doing a roll back like this and falling back and trying to get the other one up are going to hurt yourselves on a flat bench. You're going to roll off the bench. It pulls you off to one side way too much. So there's no, no uh, support doing that that way and you're going to find it's very difficult to keep those dumbbells in line as they come up unevenly on the flat bench. So I come up with them simultaneously. So this is what it looks like in real time, and I'll talk you through it again. Elbow on my opposite knee, I'm gonna pick up my left dumbbell first. I'm gonna put them down the same way as well, by the way. I'm gonna roll up with the dumbbells, and then I'm gonna put them down in reverse. So watch how I do it. First dumbbell, up to my knee. I'm supported, I'm in a half squat. All day long I can stay like this. I pull up the other one, to my knee. So now, I'm ready to go. I have my feet relatively close together. I'm going to roll back with them on one, two, three. And when I do, I'm not going to go back super fast because I don't want them flying and continuing with momentum beyond my body. So what I do is I quickly go back, feet flat on the floor, chest up, shoulders down the back. I do my set. When I'm done with the set, I turn the dumbbells back this way, lift both knees up, boom, I let the weight pull me up, and once it does, I'm back to my <laughs> seated position with the dumbbells on my knees. I'm going to put them down in reverse with my right one going down first, supported by my left hand in a half squat position. Down it goes. My lower back is fine, totally supported. Hand or elbow here, down that one goes. Dumbbell bench presses, picked up and put down, just like that. I'm going to leave these dumbbells here. I'm going to move next door to my incline bench and show you how I do the same thing on the incline. The difference here is, is I have to. I can't throw both of them back at the same time. I have to throw one up with me with the strength of my leg and my arm. I let it hover, and the moment this one comes down, I quickly shoot this one up. Get them up off my chest, do my set, turn them, and lift both knees up and come down with them, letting the weight pull me forward. So I'm going to do that one right now. Same pickup, same put down. Elbow supported here, left dumbbell coming up to my knee, supported, half squat. I could stay here all day. Right one up to my knee. Just above my knee, not on the bone of your knee. Okay, let's be clear. Feet fairly close together. I'm holding the dumbbells. 
I take a breath, left one's going to come up and hover, the right one will come up quickly afterwards, I push them up, do my set, and then return them back. One, two, three. Hovering, boom, up they go, they're up, I hold them here, chest up, shoulders down and back, I do my set, when I'm done, I turn them this way, lift both knees up, I aim for my lower thigh, I sit up with them, again, supported, now I'm going to put them down right, then left, half squat, the right one goes down, supported with my elbow, left one goes down. That right there is a complete set. We'll keep them right there. So, dumbbell bench presses, incline dumbbell bench presses. Again, safety is a big factor. Once you get those weights up to a decent amount, if you don't have somebody handing them to you, you do need to know what you're doing. All the best in your training from my heart to you, John Hart. Listen, off to my left, you're going to see a little circle hovering. That's a subscribe button to my channel. If you want to get notifications for when I pop up new videos, just hit that subscribe button right there. Down below, off to your left, there's a thumbs up button. Tap that one. It helps the channel out a lot. Just giving it a thumbs up. And that's it for today. Look forward to seeing you next time.